I'm gonna show off Gonzo a little bit since I, uh, I did what I could to polish the paint here. You can see a gazillion really horrible deep water spots. I'm not sure what that's from or it was probably sitting under some sort of a deck or something that leaked on the car <clears throat> for long periods because it's all over it. And it's like in straight lines, so it makes me wonder if it was under a deck with the wood slides like that. But anyway, um, the paint kind of, it woke up quite a bit, which makes me happy. And here is the interior. Totally serviceable. The uh, armrests, vinyl, and the uh, fabric has been changed out. Everything else is original. Um, and the fabric on the front seat has been swapped out. Other than that, everything is original. Still has the old cloth headliner, which is disgusting. Uh, dashboard, of course. The pad is sunken and sagging. It won't stay up. Uh, and the speedometer is stuck on 15 miles an hour. I have a new speedometer for it that's rebuilt. It's been swapped out with Dynaflow. But the chrome is in really good condition pretty much all over the car. Package tray is in pretty good shape. Actually, it's in really good shape. Same thing on the backs of the door panels. The uh, door uh, handles have been redone. Original carpet, which is cool. It's got the kind of unobtainium floor mats, which is super cool. I, hopefully, they'll clean up. This car came to me in pretty deplorable uh, cleanliness. This is a really nice uh, trunk bar. Virtually no pitting at all on it, which is almost unheard of for a 58. I wonder what that is. It looks like uh, a screw missing. Somebody painted it this horrible blue, and it's supposed to be blue mist. Uh, let me see if I can find a door jam with it on it. Can't really see much of anything, but... It's quite a bit lighter than this Muppet Blue. But uh, the trunk is intact. The cardboards aren't too terrible. It's kind of beat up in the back there. Um, this stuff is pretty typical of original 58 trunk material. The bumper is in excellent condition. It's got just a little bit of bubbling down here. And then the rear right bumper end has a hole in it up here. It did come with a replacement, and this side here has a little bit of a hole in it, but that's really not that big of a deal. But the rest of the chrome and stainless is in pretty darn good condition. Let me see if I can get this hood up with one hand, since it requires two. That's that. Amazing. Uh, pretty original condition under here. They left, it's not, it does not have the air suspension, but they pretty much left everything intact. So we've got the compressor and the, uh, the tank is still intact down here. You can see where it goes in there. And uh, all of the control valves, the override valves and everything are, are still intact, which is pretty darn cool. This is a virtual twin to my old 58 Limited that I started a, a, a frame off or whatever you want to call it and bailed on it which is now in sweden that was hobart so chrome was in uh, the uh, grill is in great condition it's not missing any teeth and it's straight uh and we're in pretty darn good shape with the rest of the chrome in the car which i'm super happy about that was one of the big reasons i bought the car was because i didn't feel like burning a bunch of money or just being upside down on chrome and these Tail lights, I think they've been re-chromed because they've, uh, I think they're missing a little bit of the sharpness. At least the uh, louvers are. I don't know about the outside pieces, but I don't know. Doesn't bother me at all. So anyway, I just wanted to do a little quick video walk around since all you've done, all you've seen is photos of it. So hopefully I've got it cleaned up enough to where I don't feel like a uh, Goomba driving this thing around with Miss Piggy because Miss Piggy's going to clean up pretty well when I buff it out. Anyway, enough blabbing. 
we're working.